Hello, thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Uh, today is Monday, July the 26th, 2010. Not a whole lot to talk about. Uh, the markets are still uh, in a holding pattern right now. Nothing to trade. Uh, so this is, a, this is gonna be a very quick video. Right now you're looking at the chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, this is the tradable, ticker symbol DIA, the diamonds. Uh, as of Friday's close, um, we were up one dollar and two cents, up 0 0.99 percent uh, on the close. Prices closed higher than they opened, with strong bids going into the close. As for market sentiment, we have a pulse scan reading of 28.66. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above the zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX, creating an uptrend channel as of Friday. This means that positive momentum has entered the market. So we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. That will take us into Friday. All right. And the last signal was an oversold buy 12 periods ago. Uh, let's see here. The securities price has set a new 14 period high, while the swing VIX has not. This is a, bear, a bearish divergence. Since the post scan leads the market three to five days out, we'll wait to see if down, uh, any downside pressure develops probably uh, by Friday, we expect to see that. Anything could happen between now and then, but we expect to see that probably on take back Friday. Uh, since the last swing VIX signal, the Dow Jones ETF's price has been unchanged and it's ranged from a high of $104.50 a share to a low of $102.92 a share. Uh, moving on to momentum. Currently, the trend is neutral within the bullish, I'm sorry, the bearish Kumo consolidation cloud, which is this red cloud right here. Uh, that means we have a possible trend reversal with upside bullish breakout risk based on Friday's close. Uh, a close below $102.37 a share is needed to reestablish the downward trend. However, a close above $105.13 a share will establish a new upward trend. All right, so that's what we're looking at. As for trend strength, there's currently no trend strength reading at this time. And as far as weekly price projections, we have resistance at $104.18 a share with support at $100.04 per share. That is our weekly price projection. As for volatility, we close below the upper band by 15.3%. And as I stated at the beginning of this video, uh, there are no longer short signals. This security is not in play at this time. Okay, taking a look now at gold, we're going to look at ticker symbol GLD, which tracks the gold futures and the gold spot pretty well. All right, as of Friday, uh, we closed down 77 cents, down 0.66%. Prices closed lower than they opened with weak bids going into the close. This is bearish as prices close significantly lower than they open. If the candle appears when prices are high, it may be the first sign of a top. If it occurs when prices are confronting an overhead resistance area, the long black candle adds credibility to the resistance. Similarly, if the candle appears as prices break below a support area, the long black candle, or in this case our blue candle, confirms the failure of the support area. Hence this, uh, this big uh, blue candle right here, which is a, a down candle. Okay, as I was saying, uh, this candle here uh, further gives credence to, to the analysis. Now looking at the market sentiment, the uh, post scan is a negative 29.84. Uh, the market post is negative since it's trading below its zero signal line and the post scan crossed above the swing VIX creating an uptrend channel as of Friday. This means that positive momentum has entered the market so we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. So by Friday we should see um, we should still we probably will still trade sideways until Friday but we can fi finally see moving toward the upper part of the range in the channel. Uh, the last signal was an overbought sell 48 periods ago. And since the last swing VIX signal, the ETF's price has been unchanged and has ranged from a high of $117.47 to a low of $115.79. Taking a look at market momentum, currently the trend is neutral within the bullish Kumo consolidation cloud. 
So we have a possible trend reversal with downside bearish breakout risk as we're trading toward the lower end of the range. A close above $119.50 is needed to reestablish the upward trend. However, a close below $116.49 will establish a new downward trend. All right, uh, taking a look at trend strength, uh, there is currently no trend strength reading at this time. As far as trend line retracements, uh, we are currently above the long term trend line retracement at $106.19 a share. Our first resistance hurdles will be as follows. First resistance is at $116.93 a share. We need to close above that to start to build some hope of upward momentum. The second resistance is going to be at $117.46 a share. That's the, inter the intermediate trim, uh, intermediate term trend line retracement. All right. As far as our weekly price projections for uh, GLD. Uh, we have resistance at $117.50 a share with support at $115.11 a share. As for volatility, we closed above the lower band by 24.6%. This combined with the steep downward tr uh, spiral suggests that the downward trend in prices has a good chance of continuing. However, a short uh, term pullback inside the bands is likely. As for uh, this uh, ETF being in play, there are no Pandora's little black box buy or sell signals being generated by the system. So the system is on the sidelines uh, until something develops here. So that's all we have for now. Um, there's a plethora of securities that I do not have the time to do a video on. So please check the blog so that you can uh, take a look at what we're watching for the week. Peace out. Remember, take what you can and give nothing back.